Larian and Rudy are raising a family. This is how life should be. This is their story. Hey guys, good morning. I'm in the kitchen with Mr. Rooney who is cooking me eggs. What is this? This is an amazing treatment. I like it. So let's start off with the scripture of the day. It comes to us from Romans chapter 1 verse 17. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, but the righteous man shall live by faith. Amen. So today is Friday and we have a wedding to shoot in Bridgeport. And then the reception is in Seymour. I don't know where Seymour is. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out today. That explains why Rudy is home from work. He took the day off because we have to leave here at 4.30, the latest, because traffic around this time, around that time is generally bad. So we want to make sure that we get to the wedding by 5.30. They start at 6 o'clock, okay? And it ends at 1 a.m. So it's going to be a long day. I mean, it's seven hours, but <laughs> 6 to 1 is, a, is an interesting time for a wedding. I don't think I've ever shot a wedding that late before. I just put Jaden to bed for his nap. He was acting super crazy and getting on my nerves. And I was like, he's tired. So I put him down to sleep. And then I came down here so I could make myself some breakfast. And I found Mr. Rooney making breakfast for me. So I'm really excited about that. I've, I have been craving bacon for a long time. It's like my cravings this pregnancy are sweet and salty. So anything salty, I want it. Anything sweet, I want it but I'm trying to not give in to my cravings too much because they're not very healthy, she says as she stares at the cake that she baked last night. <laughs> so we're in the bedroom now and Rudy is playing Gems of War and he thinks he's so good at this game, guys. He's so annoying, right? He keeps trying to show off to his girlfriend. Like, listen, I'm gonna do this, get an extra turn and then I'm gonna attack this guy, then I'm gonna get an extra turn. And I'm like, ay, Kaya. <laughs> So Larry just sent me a message. She's like, buy this house. <laughs> Somebody put up a listing on Facebook, a realtor. He put up a listing on Facebook for a house in Stanford for $525,000. I think it had like, what, four bedrooms and two bathrooms or something like that. Like it was a, it was a nice looking, decent sized house. But I'm saying to Larry, um, I can't afford a mortgage right now. Yeah. Like, yeah, which sucks too, because the houses were kind of, they were good. We well, saw some the, good ones. Well, the one that we saw was good. The other one in Bridgeport for 125000 was way too tiny. You know, like, I think that it would be so nice to have a cute little house like that one day with my little family. Yeah. And get to make as much noise as we want. You get to make as Not much. Not that we don't have, we don't make noise already. No, it's it's funny because when we came from Jamaica, I was seven, and from ages seven to twenty, I always lived in an apartment, or well, that's not entirely true. <laughs> from ages eight to twenty, I lived in an apartment, so I was never able to run up and down in the house, stomp, make noise, yell, scream, and all that stuff. It was just wasn't, you just couldn't. So I always knew better. So when I moved in with Rudy after we got married, it was kind of new to me that I was able to yell and scream. <laughs> and sometimes like Rudy would be yelling or making noise and I I was so tempted to say shh. <laughs> I don't think Rudy ever noticed, but I was so tempted to say shh. Even though we have people living downstairs because it's a two family house that Rudy's parents own. That sounds so legit. Like they own this house. <laughs> it's a two family house, so there are people downstairs, but I don't care. I feel like two floors down. <laughs> the landlord is my father in law. I do what I want. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're two floors up from them anyway, so we can stop, make noise, scream, and yell all we want. The thunder was crawling on my neck for a second. Ooh, Rooney. Something mm. trying to eat your neck. Seriously? No. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, we're just hanging out right now until, well, Jaden's napping. So we're just hanging out and I just want to have a good time with Rudy before we have to go shoot this wedding. So, so what do you want to do? 
No, I mean, I want to crochet and, and I want to watch you fail at Gems of War. <laughs> You're going to take that disc, Rudy? It's not a disc because I'm not feeling it. Ooh, he said you don't know what you're talking See about. See how much land I got on this? Oh, please. I have just as much land. No, you don't have all these places. I don't feel like opening them up. Yeah, but, but you don't get all the benefits from them, so... Just hanging out. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Hi, Jaden. Did you wake up from your nap? Yeah. Bye. No. Hi. Say hi to Mama. You didn't see Mama for a long time. For an hour. An hour and a half. Whoa. Don't get it twisted. Whoa. One whole hour and a half, man. That's a long time to go without the love of your life. What were you doing? Sleeping? Jaden, you're such a sleepy butt. Concocting the plan. Yeah, you wanna do something, huh? Take over the world, take more money from me? Huh? 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 <laughs> Nasty. He just slobbered spit all over. Well, you just slobbered spit all over his arm, so he was like. Jayden. What's in your mouth, Jaden? Let me see. Nope. Let's see if you got anything in your mouth. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got a crush on him. Yeah, you made it. You made it. It's minutes to four right now, so Rudy is going to try to put Jaden down for a nap. And this is goodbye. Like, I feel really badly because I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss you, Jaden. Are you going to miss Mama? Who? You going to miss Mama? He said, Who? You going to miss Mama? Oh. Kisses. Mm -hmm. Bye, Jaden. <laughs> Bye, Jaden. Bye bye. Are you gonna miss mama? What are you looking at, Jaden? There's nothing out there that you've never seen before, okay? I was looking at the um fire safety thing. Yeah? Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Alright. <laughs> Say bye to your friends. Bye. Say bye to your friends. All right. Hey guys, Larche here with Rooney and we got Larig in the back. We are finally on our way to this wedding, boys and girls. We left a little bit later than we should have. I wanted to leave at 4.30 even though it's a half hour away. With traffic, it would probably, probably take an hour and I was 100% correct because leaving at 4.30 would have gotten us there at 5.30 or earlier. And since we left at like 4.45, now we're not gonna get there until minutes six. Wedding starts at six. So we're gonna go stop at Dutch's. I just ordered some food for us because we're not gonna get another chance to eat again until nine o'clock. So we're gonna pick up food. Dominique, my, my second shooter, she's already in Bridgeport. So I hope she had something to eat <laughs> because it's gonna be a long time. Jaden did not take a nap. And I hope that Rudy's mother was su successful in putting him down because it's five o'clock right now. And if he doesn't nap now, then he's gonna be really difficult uh, to go to bed tonight. And I don't want him to go to bed too late, okay? So that's, the, that's what's going on right now. So the wedding ceremony 
our money is done. I apologize so much for my tardiness to the bride. But, <laughs> I mean, I made it. The ceremony was good. And then we took some quick pictures in the back of the church because they had like a waterfall. So we took some pictures there. We're on our way to the reception now and we're supposed to do the pictures of the entire bridal party and the immediate family there. But it's like night and it just started raining. So I probably should have told the entire bridal party to take the pictures in the back of the church too. Because I mean, we're not gonna be able to take any pictures outside. This is, this is crazy. Terrible, terrible call, Ariane. <laughs> Tummy just started hurting me and I'm not sure why. Ooh, tummy aches. I might have to put the tummy. Look at it. Starting at midnight, the DJ started playing American music. So, you know, I had a good time because I always get on the dance on the dance floor to do the line dances. Always. Cupid shuffle, cha-cha slide, any other line dance that they do, I'm gonna get on the dance floor and dance. Okay? <laughs> and then it was funny, like I think we had just finished doing the Cupid Shuffle or something, I can't remember which one it was. But all of a sudden, the song, Everybody Dance Now, came on. And my back was to the dance floor, and I was facing Rudy, and I just started going crazy, like just dancing for fun. Because I thought that everybody else was on the dance floor dancing too. And then like probably an, a minute into dancing, I realized I was the only one dancing, and I felt kind of weird. But you know, at that point, you can't really stop. <laughs> So I continued and I tried to get Rudy to dance with me. Of course he's not gonna dance with me because Rudy's not a dancing person. But, you know, like I grabbed his hand and made him dance for, you know, like a few beats. And then I did some crazy stuff and then I grabbed his hand again. It was, it was fun, it was cool. So then we left the reception and we came home, right? And when I was outside, I thought I heard Jaden. I was like, did I just hear Jaden? And I looked up at his room, I was like, Rudy, is this light on? And Rudy was like, no. I was like, okay. So I go upstairs, and Rudy's father told me that Jaden doesn't want to go to sleep. I was like, 
We got home at 2 o'clock in the morning, guys, by the way. Okay, so it's 2 o'clock in the morning and I hear that my son is not sleeping. I was like, are you kidding me? So we go, Rudy goes into his room and talks to his mother and his mother said that Jaden slept from 8.30 to, to 11.30 and didn't want to go back to sleep. And Jaden is wide awake, like no sleep in his eye at all. <laughs> so I was like, just take him next door. I took him next door and I was just sitting there like, I can't believe this is my life. It's two o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting with my son and he's playing with my camera case. I was I was just so out of it because it was two o'clock in the morning. I was so tired. I just finished shooting a seven hour wedding and I was exhausted. But Rudy didn't seem to be tired and he was like, I'm going to take him and go next door so you can sleep. I was like, are you sure? Are you tired? He was like, no, not really, kind of. So he took him next door and Jane went to sleep at 3.15. That's the story. I, I fell asleep with my makeup on. That's why my face is so dry because I just washed my face. I fell asleep with my makeup on. I didn't care. I was so tired, boys and girls. Woo! But that's that's the story for what happened when we came home. And my camera just died, so I'm about to charge this joint. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to us if you still have it. And we will talk to you next time. Bye! This is their story